and uh, Miss Dolores and all their Jennifer and all that family, Wesley and them, um, concerned about Lynn. And uh, my cousin's grandbaby, about the same age, within a week of my grandbaby, uh, the, our grandmother's name was Sawyer. Um, she grew up a Sawyer. Of course, her dad was a Sawyer, and, and my mom, uh, maiden name was Sawyer. And so they gave this little baby girl the first name of Sawyer. And so I'm asking for prayers for Sawyer Reeves. Uh, Sawyer is my cousin's grandchild, like I said, and Sawyer uh, was born early and has a lot of complications, health complications in her little life. And so she, I think, is in children's, is that right, Angela? And uh, so um, I've got to start bringing Angela up here with me for prayer. <laughs> I'm so... We can maybe dialogue through prayer. That's a good idea. Let's do that sometime. We can we can do a dialogue. I'll ask you questions and you give the facts. <laughs> you know, one of the things we did last week uh, that was interesting in worship on Sunday is we asked for prayer requests from uh, live streaming people, and sure enough, we had some several people that uh, asked us to pray, and one of those was Melissa Chun, and, and Melissa's. Uh, just got a lot of things going on, health, health issues inside her family. And she asked us to pray for Alton Blaylock and, and his wife and Sandy Chun, and uh, we need to remember them. And, of course, Miss uh, Wright, um, uh, Henrietta's mother, <coughs> is not doing well. Well, I'm praying that Amber, I hadn't, hadn't heard in the last couple of days how Amber's doing. I'm hoping they're recovering. I just can't imagine the kids having to spend this whole Christmas in, in quarantine. <laughs> I feel bad for them. So let's pray, shall we? God, we lift up Lynn and baby Sawyer. We ask that you would uh, heal them, God. Uh, whatever is going on with Lynn, Lord, help the physicians to understand it quickly and know how to treat him quickly and that he would respond quickly according to your will God we trust you in that uh, Lord keep him out of as much pain as possible help him to breathe well help him not to get sick while in there worse say uh, and encourage Miss Dolores uh, it's really going to be tough on her you know as she's still um, I'm sure uh, weak from being ill. Lord, we pray for uh, Alton and his wife, Ms. Blaylock. Lord, bless them, encourage them. For Sandy Chun, Lord, with their health issues, we just pray that you would um, that you would uh, heal them. Lord, I pray for Ruth Wright. And Lord, I know she is struggling immensely. And, and uh, um, after this uh, setback, um, Lord, that, that uh, they're very concerned about her. And I just pray, Lord, that if it be your kind of will that you would heal her, uh, help her to know that you are there by her side, encouraging her. Pray for Vicki. Vicki, uh, I'm sure, is still recovering from uh, her foot surgery. And Lord, I just pray that uh, you would bless her with health. Pray for Todd, Vincent, uh, and Covering from hip surgery, that's a that's a tough one for David McClung. I have not heard any more of David's father, who is on hospice for little Henry Gulk, uh, the young fellow that uh, was attacked by a dog in Conway, a friend of mine, uh, nephew. Uh, Lord, I pray for Bobby DeBusk, uh, my friend in uh, Alma, uh, and I pray that you would heal her from the issues that she deals with, with blood clots, and that that would clear up, um, and other health concerns she has. For Terry Welch, Lord, we pray for his surgery. It's going to be soon, Lord, we ask that you would uh, um, 
Bless her, Lord. We give you praise for for Dolores's recovery from COVID, and and uh, Lord, we pray for. Uh, I just praise you for uh, Carrie Animals uh, uh, released from COVID, uh, not having COVID. Man, we're so glad for that, Lord. For other physical needs, we pray for those um, cancer patients. For Todd and Stephen and Adam and David and Rick and John and Sue and. Bryant Lambert, and Lord, we would just ask that you would bless him uh, with your healing powers, with Jeffrey and Larry and Charlie and Danny and Terry Welch. Lord, these these people who have cancer, uh, Lord, the, the list seems so large, and yet, Lord, you're a God who is much bigger, and you're able to uh, heal each one of us. So I pray, Lord, that you would be able to give the specific physical uh, medical um, direction to those physicians for each one of those people for the nurses that they would be able to treat them well or for their uh, their therapies whether it be chemo radiation whatever that they would be effective and efficient in their lives that lord that if it be your good and kind will each of these people might recover um, and, Lord, if it be your kind and good will, Lord, may they give you glory in it. Lord, I pray for the long-term needs of William and, and Linda, um, Lord, who still needs a heart valve. Uh, for Doug, Linda's got many, many uh, physical uh, conditions, and she's still weak. Uh, for Doug Thompson, uh, liver transplant. Andy Lane needs a heart transplant. Lord, for Ricky Milton and his stroke, for Debbie Murray, for J.B. Scott, um, Sue's daddy, um, for Beverly Watkins, Angela's sister, we just saw this week. We praise you that she was able to, to visit with us and speak with us, and, and uh, we had a good visit. Pray for her health. Lord, we pray... Now for those who we uh, uh, are, are so glad that they are in missions, we pray for our, our missionaries, specifically in Nebraska, uh, Lord, for Logan and, and, and Dallas and Anthony and Elijah um, and Ty, we, Lord, we ask that you would bless those families uh, as they try to lead out in the Lincoln, Nebraska area, uh, Lord, give them the ability to penetrate the hearts through the power of the Holy Spirit might stir individuals' hearts and would hear the gospel from them and would respond in love to you. Repentance, call me Lord. We pray for Justin and Katie, the same prayer during this holiday, Lord, we just ask that you would give them wonderful um, family time, wonderful church time. Bless the Delta Church that they're leading. For Nate and Mary and wherever they are, we pray for them. Lord, we pray for the Arkansas Delta Network Association. Uh, we pray for many uh, big, big things that are happening in the Delta Network uh, in 2021 coming. Uh, we ask, Lord, that if you'd be your good and kind will, give us the finances to do what they need. Uh, Lord, we pray for Charles Crisco, for Faye Rogers, for Dan Smith, and Jean as well, for Lovin' Stewart, her family. Lord, uh, uh, I know Lovey is in pain, and, and uh, she's told me every time I visit her that she wants to go be with Jesus, and she's tired of uh, fighting this, tired of wrestling with her illness, tired of the pain, and Lord, I just ask, how would you relieve her pain? Uh, however you know and see best to do that, Lord, we will trust in you, and we know you ultimately have a plan for her life, but be, be kind to her, please, Lord. Help her to know that you are near her, uh, that she is not alone. You are her, her very help in, in present time and in trouble. 
pray for Jackie Warhurst, Lord. We pray that you would lift his days, give him encouragement, Lord. Help him not to worry and be so concerned about things. Help him to, to feel at home in his own home. Lord, thank you for Miss Vicki and how she cares for him and for the boys, how they look after him, even the grandchildren. But Lord, as with this pandemic, it's hard for people to be around and help. And Lord, it's, it can be a frustrating thing. So bless that family. Lord, we pray for the Bean people of Egypt and, and Sudan and Eritrea. As the, uh, those nomadic people that as they seek around for their food and for their sustenance, they would also seek truth. And Lord, we know that they would find that truth in you. So we pray for our missionaries to the Bean people, this family that's out there, and we pray that, Lord, that they would be able to uh, penetrate into the society of those people and to make friends and people that would trust them as they share the gospel with them and their love for you. Lord, we pray for the Hispanics in our area. We pray for the pea patch as it's laid aside. Uh, Lord, we need a tractor. Help us to find a tractor. Please, God. Uh, we pray for our military. We pray for uh, our country, our government, our police. We pray for acts of hope. We pray for the families of many bereaved people, Lord, for just think of Dickie Kenmore's family, Lord, bless them. The family of Stephen Oaks, um, Lord, uh, minister to those people in their grieving times. For the family of Wyatt Bennett, Lord, uh, encourage them, lift them up. For David Ruiz and for Julie Herrera, Lord, we pray uh, that um, that family would be encouraged, uh, Lord, that we as the church might be able to minister to them, encourage them, lift them up. This is our prayer, Lord. Um, pray for that funeral uh, that we'll be leading uh, in uh, Lepanto on Tuesday at 1 um, for Miss Herrera. We pray for unspoken requests for Kathy Hannibal, Lacey Brewer, Melissa Chun, Monique Dyson, Jeannie Hill, Paul Hennefeld, uh, Olivia Nash, Carolyn Smith, Mary Tom Vermillion, Wesley Victoria, Jimmy Walker. We pray for Mary's Chapel this week, uh, another church in our, in our uh, uh, association, and their pastor Jason Holland. Lord, would you bless those people? Encourage them. God, we pray for the COVID victims. Uh, our list is long. <laughs> it's not complete. For Adrian and Stella Thomas, for Brooke Ward, Frank and Dita Felisco as they are recovering. I praise the Lord. For Paulette Barbie, for Angie Warhurst, Lord, we pray for Sadie Malone, for Rudy and, and now Linda Davis. Uh, we pray for Sierra, Sierra Brumley. For Rayleigh Murphy, for Jackie Cooper, and Tommy Lyons. Lord, for uh, Bobby Wheeler, and for Donna and Nancy Robertson. For Margie Smith, for Joe Robertson, for Jenny Brown. And, and still, I pray for Amber as, as they're, they're recovering. God, Lord, please, please uh, give us a break from this pandemic, from this disease. Lord, please. Um, help those who are ill, uh, help those who are caring for the ill, protect them, give them energy that can only can come from you, and know they're kind of worn out. Lord, I pray for some of the other prayer requests that we've taken from our drive through uh, uh, luncheon, thinking of Michael McWilliams, and, and uh, uh, I know Michael still has this problem with acid reflux. I pray for Michael Ashley's knee surgery. I pray for Stephanie Ogle. I pray for Annie, Annie Henry, Irvin Goodlow, for Remington Wood, for Lovey Stewart, for uh, Marvin uh, Butch Price, for Candy Morales, for Shepherdson family, Lord. I pray for Joe Ed Ashburn, for 
Ermatas, Loretta, Don, Hodge, for Kylie and Arnold and their children, all the suffering, Lord, from the COVID, for our country, for members of our church with COVID, Lord, for daily, uh, for unspoken, several unspoken requests. Lord, we just ask that you would be in amongst your people, working your will and your way in our lives, because, I, Lord, I know, I know that you uh, have what is best in mind for us, and we can trust in that. We can trust you in that. Help us to rest in your love, Lord, rest and trust and believe, and therefore uh, relieve, be relieved knowing that you have an outcome. Uh, help us to walk by faith through this pandemic, Lord. We pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Well, folks, I hope to see you on Sunday, either live streaming here on Facebook.